So you've read the title and you've seen the thumbnail, so you obviously know what I've got here behind me is a BMW M235i. My name is Reese Payne and I'm going to take you on my story and the adventure with this car. I'm going to take you across to all sort of car shows, all the things I do to it modifications wise. I've got quite a lot planned for in the future, um, as well as just kind of take you with things that are happening in my life and just filming what's going on. So just a little bit about me, I'm 19 years old, I'm a vinyl rapper, um, so I actually rap cars. As you can tell, the car is just black, although I will be wrapping it soon, so don't worry about that. That will be in a future video. Before we start this video, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell if you want to keep up to date with what I'm going to be doing to this car. Um, there's many modifications to come. The iDrive system here, it has got the original 6.5 inch one that definitely needs updating. So it's got a little crack in it, if you can see there. So one of the first things I'm going to mention are these absolutely stunning wheels. It's got 18 inch gloss black alloys. They're not the original ones that come with the car. There's a picture here, which they do look a bit ugly. So I'm glad the person before did decide to put these on. It just makes the styling look a lot nicer. Although they probably won't stay black for very long. I'm not huge on black wheels. I think they just hide the car. And they also just look very small. So we might change those up. But let me just tell you a little bit about the car. It's a 2014 BMW M235i. It's got a three litre straight six single turbo and they run about 326 horsepower from factory. Although this has got boot mod three on it. So it's supposedly running about 360 brake, which does make quite a difference as well as the throttle response. Although there are a couple things which I would change, um, but I'll get back to that. So just make sure you keep watching. It's had quite a few just tasteful mods on the car. As you can see the grills, gloss black, double slated, um, as well as a little front splitter on the car just kind of enhance the front of it just makes it look a little bit nicer I see it's got the M style mirror caps so I have also tinted the rear lights because they needed tinting red just didn't really go with the car the fact it's all blacked out anyways so it kind of needs that but it has just got a different diffuser on the bottom um, some Akraprovic tips just purely tips it's got lip spoiler on the back as well as a black badge and just some light tints as well as my private plate which I put on so I have had this car for about two weeks now um, so I've gotten used to it and I will in about a month's time I'll give you a kind of month review on the car and just tell you what I think of it and whether you should buy one or not so let's go to the inside of the car the spec isn't massive um, but it's not bad at all so we've got cruise control which I was told was aftermarket fitted um, it didn't come with this out from the factory ignore my finger I uh, sliced it at work um, we've got heated seats which was kind of a deal breaker. I really wanted heated seats and cruise control, which were my two main things. Um, although it has got standard speakers, um, so that is also another video in the future, as well as just gloss black accents, um, which I'm sure I'll do a video wrapping those. Other things which are just come in a normal two series as well, you've got your sport and your eco pro mode, as well as your volume buttons, mode, you can phone calls, it's got your limiter on here, AC, all your normal bits on here, and then the iDrive screen, which we spoke about earlier, which will be upgraded at some point. I'm not a fan of this small one, and it's got a crack there, which just isn't ideal. Someone has previously wrapped these in like a matte carbon although they've not done a very good job as you can see on the end there uh, it started to lift up and there's a few little imperfections so I will sort out maybe an interior trim video coming soon we'll talk about the seats as well um, they are the standard seats which do come in the M235 and the 240 they're pretty comfortable um, I can't complain it hasn't got electric seats so they are manual a little bit disappointing but it's not the end of the world I'm not that lazy so I can live with it if you'd actually be surprised the back seats aren't too bad so let's just hop in as I squeeze in back here oh as far as leg room goes I mean I sit quite far back so I've not got a lot of leg room uh, I'm five foot ten got a hat on there's a little bit of headroom if you're probably over six foot you might struggle so let's just open the bonnet and I'm going to show you underneath, have a look at the engine. Uh, it is just mostly plastic, there's not a lot underneath here. So we could definitely tidy this up, give it a little clean, as you can see, it's not the cleanest. It is a 3 litre single turbo running about 326 brake horsepower. Like I said, it has got a boot mod stage 1 map on it, so it is running about 360. Um, just a little bit pokier, a little bit torquier, and also the front response is a whole lot better. So, stage 2 is something you can do with these cars stage three turbos there's loads you can do to future proof them and get more power so there is always a possibility that that could be the route that this car goes in the future let's just quickly go to the rear end of the car I'm just gonna show you some boot space um, you'd actually be really impressed considering it's just a little two series coupe you wouldn't think there's a lot but there's a massive amount of space in here and especially since with those levers the seats go back so let me put those down quickly. With the seats down, you can see how much room is actually in this car. 
So if you need to go to Ikea, pick up some furniture or anything, you can quite easily fit it in without a problem or just tape it to the roof, up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you some exhaust noises so you can hear the car. Uh, I'm just going to drive down the road just so you can hear it. It has got a very aggressive verbal tune and as soon as you put it into sport it is very asbo but you're going to hear it anyways so let's get to it. <laughs> Actually, there is nothing done to the exhaust, although I might do something to it in the future. Um, and the tune does definitely need tuning it down as far as noise goes because the bops and bangs are a bit as though I was hardly revving it then. That was literally just up to 4K. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was just a short, quick one just to show you what my new car is um, and just kind of tell you what the plan is for the future of this channel. I've uploaded this, you're all watching it, and I'm going to keep uploading. Just make sure you keep watching. Anyways, thank you. See you in the next one.